Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going to give you my goals for my project pan. Um, I feel like I haven't been using a lot of my project pans. I just feel like I kind of, from all my new hauls and all my makeup, I definitely feel like I've kind of shoved my project pans under the rug a little bit. Certain products I do use, like, all the time, and some products I don't. So I want to make myself some goals to hopefully, like, amp up my project pan and kick my ass into gear and really buckle down. So I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and please subscribe to my channel. Um, I would love for you guys to be a part of my family and see my future updates on my project pans and all my future videos. So the button should be down there. So, so hit that button on your way out and you guys can see other future videos. So I got a mix of everything. I got skincare, I got hair care, I got makeup. Um, so I'm just going to go and just grab. So the first thing I'm going to go and start off with is the Paul Mitchell Smoothing um, Super Skinny Serum. Now I'm assuming you don't need very much of this to go and get the smooth effect. I have not used this, I haven't even touched it. So I want to go and give myself until I think, I, I mean, I don't wash my hair very often, so I want to go and give myself for this specifically, which I should grab a notebook so I can write this down, because I'm going to forget. Okay, for the little sample of Paul Mitchell, I want to go and get halfway through the bottle by May 14th. Now, I think by then I should have washed my hair quite a bit. So I feel like, I mean, it's I'm already starting like right here. I feel like halfway through the bottle is pretty achievable. So I, that's where I want to go and be at. That is my goal. And I'm hoping by, you know, the next two months I can completely finish this bottle and get rid of it you know, and be done. Because this is only a sample size. It's not very big. I feel like I can get some, you know, good use out of it pretty much. So for the Puritum Facial um, Lotion, I want to be completely done with this by April 1st. So I figured from now until the rest of the month, I think that is a really, I think I'm being over generous, honestly, because I am literally, I am literally up to there. But you don't need much to really cover your face. I mean, I do take it down to my neck, so I do think I'm going to go through it and be done with it a lot quicker. But... I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt because I do have other products, you know, to use. So I'm that's where I'm going to go and give this one. So I'm just going to, I already wrote that down, you know. So for the Body Drench Original Scent, I want to go and be halfway done with this on um, May 1st. I have not used this at all. I definitely put down what scent I'll be using. Um, I just want to get halfway. So this is completely... <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. This is completely unused, so I will be going into this, you know, completely without like regular. Now I do have a moisturizer already that um we bought that is like an in the shower kind of moisturizer for your body, so you know that's why I haven't been using it. But I definitely want to use it because it is once again I I think it's a sample size. I think it is. But I want to get this done before on May 1st. And I feel like that, I mean, I want this completely half done. And I feel like that is a very generous kind of thing. I feel like I'm being too generous, but I want to give myself plenty of time just in case that my skin doesn't like it. If my skin doesn't like it, I'm just going to let you guys know. Um, I'm not going to finish it if that's the end of it. Um, if it breaks me out or gives me whatever, um, I will definitely just done tossed uh, infinito okay so for so for my sensitive I mean my simple sensitive skin experts protecting moisturizer I want to be completed completed with this by um, June 1st now I am I am up to oh, well my pen isn't showing uh, of course okay my it is right I don't know if it's picking up on camera but there is a little dot right there that's where I'm at at this may be like completely just really going, you know, um, overshooting it or biting too much. But I feel like once I get the Puritum stuff out of the way and completely done with, I definitely think I'm going to be buckling down and really, really, really 
giving this, you know, the love that it deserves. So, fingers crossed I can do that because, I I mean, this is a 4.2 ounce bottle and I'm up to here. So, I mean, I've got quite a ways to go. I mean, if not, I will settle for 3 4, I mean, 3 fourths empty. No, I can settle for that. For my Herbal Essence, um, <coughs> excuse me, dry shampoo, I want to be completed with this by, I'm um, sorry, I'm just writing that down, um, by May 1st. Now, I would say if I could actually see it, I would probably say I'm right around here. So I'm a little bit more than halfway, and I feel like, um, I feel like that is being generous, but I also be, I'm being a little too, um, stingy, not stingy, I don't know if that's the right word. I feel like I'm also being a little bit too, not giving myself enough time, because I don't always reach for dry shampoo. I don't. Um, I should, but I don't. Like, maybe, like, this third day hair start spraying it, that way I can really use it. And, yeah, so fingers crossed for this one. Um, like I said, I'm right about around here. I would think if I could actually... Sorry, my cats are making a big noise. Um, so yeah, I hope I can finish this completely done. I've had this for a long time. Um, there is no expiration date on these. Can, can this even expire? I mean, I don't know. Someone tell me in the comments, can this expire? Okay, so for, for my e.l.f. eyeliner, I want to go and hit, oh, by my, by 4 April 27th, which is my birthday, I want to go and hit like not complete pan I want it well yeah I want to go quite all the way to the bottom with this now <laughs> excuse me I don't normally wear eyeliner so this is really pushing it to me to wear it and use it up so I mean this is where we are starting off with and I feel like I honestly feel like we're almost there to be completely honest but if I already meet my goals I will go and see where I can get if I finish my goals before my cutoff date, not cutoff date, before my date, then I will go and um, see how far I can get with it. And then as soon as I get to the date, I will plan ahead and, you know, we'll see where I'm at. So I really hope to go and get this, you know, to at least the bottom so I can see the bottom and see how pretty this little jar is, you know, it's so pretty, so cute. So for my Maybelline Bad to the Bronze, by um, June 1st, I want to complete it. Now, I already hit a little bit of um, glass, as you can see. There you go. See, there's my finger. Um, so I definitely think that is very doable. I've been wearing this a lot more lately, especially on days where I don't want to wear makeup. Um, my Sundays are like my day off kind of day from doing YouTube. So, normally I don't reach for makeup on my days off, so I really just, or I do pre-film for Bridal Menace Monday, like I always try to be ahead of the game, I try to, it doesn't always work like that. So, um, on days off that I already pre-filmed or done something, I'm going to go and be reaching for this and wear some eyeliner, that way I can really, really like buckle down and get it done, because I'm not even kidding you guys, the feeling that I felt when I hit pan on my favorite bronze um, eyeshadow, like I wanted to cry. Like some, it felt like some part of me was just in a panic mode, like, oh my god, I'm gonna finish it. Oh my god, like I just started freaking out. I'm just like, no, it's still at the drugstore. I can just buy another, a fresh new one, like you deserve when you completely finish this. Like I was almost tempted to go and buy a backup. Almost, like I almost did that. I didn't. But, you know, I will, the things that I love that are still available, I will buy another one. Like this and my, you know, the cream eyeshadows, I will always buy backups of them. Or just buy them. But yeah, I want to finish that one by um, the first. Completely done. I mean, if I'm still scraping at the edges, then that's okay. But I do want to hit, see a majority of the pan and maybe a little bit on the sides. I can settle for that. You know, that is a big accomplishment, especially with the cream eyeshadow, because they so, they tend to seem to go very, very far. Now, for my Maybelline Toughest Taupe, I want to get all the way to where I can see um, pan or glass. That way I can see through it. Um, I'm already, this is where I'm at right now, I've got a pretty decent size dent. So, I mean, 
I'm going to give that to about June 1st. To do that, I feel like that is very doable because between these two, these are the two that I reach. And especially if I'm doing Bridal Menace Mondays, I am using it to contour. So I feel like other than just throwing this in the crease, I can definitely, <coughs> excuse me, use that to contour and I'm doing a double purpose for it. So I definitely think that is a very fair, fair shot. You know what? Okay, so for Wet n Wild's Nutty Eyeshadow, I don't have much progress with this because it is a shimmery, not shimmery, it is a very sheeny eyeshadow. I can't throw it in the crease like I thought I would have been able to. So that really sucks. But this is where we're starting off with. Some of the imprints are already gone, um, most likely in the center. But I want to give myself till um, July 1st. Oh my gosh, I'll be married by then. Sorry, I'm just like, I'm just so, like, oh my god. Anyways, so I want to hit some sort of pan. By then, um, if I can't hit pan, I would at least take a very big dent. So, I mean, I either hit pan on this by July, bleh, by July 1st, or, um, you know, have a really big dent. So, I'm okay with that. I'll settle for that. But um, I probably will just buy the new formula and see if that's any better, you know, eventually, hopefully, you know, we'll see. Now for um, this LA Colors Matte Eyeshadow in the shade Forbidden, it is a very beautiful um, burnt, it is like a brick red kind of color. Um, I want to go and hit, not hit pan, I want to have a big dent, like a huge dent by, by um, July first um i feel like red is will be a hard color for me to wear and i probably should have done this like in october to go and pan it but i didn't know what panning what even was back then so i will settle for a medium sized dent or a small dent something that's very very obvious but i definitely want to definitely use this so you know i'm going to give myself that much time Especially just the fact that I'm using it that much enough to see a noticeable dent in a red color That is no that isn't an accomplishment, especially since I don't really wear Red I should because it makes my eyes look really nice, but I don't or I think it's a burgundy kind of color I don't know, but I should you know, I don't but I definitely should so fingers crossed Okay, so for the LA colors of matte eyeshadow in the shade whisper this is what we're starting off with. I don't know if you're a really able to tell, but I want to go and hit pan by the same date, by July 1st. Now, I already have a huge dent in it. I love using this as a crease color. It is very subtle. It is a little bit more pink than my skin tone. So it is like, this is the perfect crease color for me <coughs> when I'm really working with pinks. So I definitely want to, I think that is very doable for me. Um, most likely if I use this shadow, I will probably use this shadow. I'm going to try and make that a habit. If I use this shadow, I will try and use this shadow with it. So whatever I make dentage in here, I will have a small amount in here as well. Hopefully that is at least my goal. Now I don't have the other one. I think the other one is under my little stand that I have. Like I'll show you guys when I start vlogging. But... Um, I didn't have much of a dent in that one, like, at all, but I definitely wanted to go and hit some sort of pan. I will even take, like, a little, like, a, a dent by, um, July 1st. <sighs> I hope I didn't break it. Okay, so I definitely did break the top of it completely off. I can't close it. So I definitely want to hit pin on this one, like, finish it as soon as possible. So the other one that I have a secret, um, I, I can't find it right now, but, um, I know, I think it's underneath there, like I said. So I want to go and hit pan or just hit baby pan on it or just even a big dent. I will settle for a big dent. Um, and I want that all by July 1st. You know, I feel like that's very doable, especially once this color, like I can, I usually, when I first got them, I love to mix them together, like put the uh, lightest color in the crease or the medium color in the crease and then put the lightest shade on the lid and like the red in the outer V. I should do that sometime. Do that in a little tutorial. Anyways, so yeah, I think that is a very fair kind of thing. Oops. 
Okay, so for the silent treatment one, I want to hit, um, I want to go and get a pretty decent sized dent in all of these colors. That, I mean, I'm, if anything, the top, these two, because I feel like those will be the best, but if I can, I would love to hit in, um, I would like to do all three. You know, maybe, huh, this is really going to be hard, especially with me doing, um, like, all these other kinds of stuff. If you guys want to see more tutorials using my project pans, I would, you know, love to do that. I just felt like I was doing so many and the look was all the same that you guys just, would just be like, like a taupey, smoky eye again for like 20th time in like a week. Uh, no. So I did take a break for quite some time, a little bit more than what I expected. But, you know, if you guys want to see more tutorials, I will definitely give you more tutorials. Just say the word, and I will do it. Well, I'll probably do one this week, actually. But I'm going to give this one to um, August 1st. I don't know if I said that already. And I want to go and hit um, small, not small pan. I want to go and get some big dents in here. I'm not looking to achieve pan, but I do want to get, at you know, if anything, like the whole uh, writing gone completely. I'll take that, or I want to hit, like, major dents on, like, these two colors. I'll even take, like, the the uh, wording scratched off on just this, if I can't, because that color is sparkly and dark, and I don't know. I'm just finger-crossing that I can do that, so, yeah. Okay, so the for the Physician's Formula one, <coughs> excuse me, I want to go, <coughs> excuse me, I want to go and hit um, a really decent sized dent by 8, um, 8, by uh, August 1st. Now, you you really don't need this that much. All you need is just like a little rub and then tap, tap and done. There, you know, there's not much. So I will settle for a decent sized dent um, enough so for you guys to really notice it, you know. I mean, I can start using this mostly as highlighter on my Bridal Menace Mondays. That way I can incorporate it in here. And I should probably do Bridal Menace Monday with this, the stuff that I use. Huh. Okay. But anyways, um, you know, you don't need that much. I mean, you just do a couple finger swatches and put it where you need to. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to even finish this or even hit pan by the end of the year. I want to. But it's already March, and I'm like, <laughs> that's all I have to say. I mean, I'm not, I'm not getting anywhere. I've used it for highlight. I've used it for brow bone work. I've used it for inner corner work. <sighs> I'm getting a lot of prayers on this one because this one is like killing me. It's killing me. But I don't want to give it up because I'm like, I bought it. I need it. I need to get it done. Now for the L'Oreal La Nude Two. I at least want to go and hit pan on two shades, at least two shades, like a shimmer shade and a matte shade. I at least want to do that because I love my mattes and these shadows are pretty powdery so I feel like this should be accomplished, accomplishable. Um, I want to get that done by August 1st, um, maybe in, even September if I'm like, you know, maybe September, maybe, but I definitely think that, that could be somewhat possible. Maybe. Um, one matte and one shimmer. It could be both mattes. I'm not really... I don't really care which one. I just want to hit some sort of dent with it. So. I'm going to need a lot of prayers on this one too. Because I've only used this three times. I've used it in my Bridal Menace Monday. I'm using the two tutorials that I've done for you guys. Out of prayers. Okay, so I don't have it with me, but I want to, <laughs> excuse me, I want to go and use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, the pencil, and I want to use that completely up by April 15th. I feel that is very, very generous considering I only have about like that much left, or maybe a little bit more than that, like that. So I want to go and complete it completely. By then, I feel like this is very doable because normally they even say that brow pencils only take about a month to really, you know, use. So I feel like that is very, very possible. At least I think it is. 
So, yeah, there's that one. Okay, so last and certainly not least, I want to go and hit um, two big, de two decent sized dents, <coughs> excuse me, on my e.l.f. rose gold palette. Now it can be one matte and one shimmer. Um, that's usually how I prefer it because I feel like that would be the easiest way to get it done. Like I could go and throw this in the crease or, or hell, I could take... Fudge. I can take that whisper color in the crease and then I can just go and build it up with another color in the crease and then it's a shimmer shade on the lid and I feel like I, I can really start doing that especially because I love pinks. I love rose gold. I feel like I can definitely hit this. Now purples I'm not too much of a big fan of. I mean I like them. They're pretty and I love taupes but I don't see myself reaching for them all the time so hopefully um, I can do that also. You know this may be like a long shot but I definitely want to go and put another um that playlist oh what is the right word series the word is series so this may be a, like I said a really big long shot but I would like to go and make another series um I don't remember when I told you this you guys but I want to do like a color roulette thing um, I don't know if I was telling you this in a vlog that I deleted or not I don't remember, but I want to go and do a, like a, <coughs> excuse me, a color roulette, or whatever you want to call it, where I take, I go through all my eyeshadow palettes, the whole collection, and I want to go and pick out all the colors, whether it's shimmer, or, you know, yellow, orange, da 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 da, -da all the colors that I have, I'm going to go and put it on pieces of paper, and then I'm going to go and cut them out, put them in a baggie, and I'm going to choose two to three, and then I will make a look with it. Whatever colors I have, you know, I'll do it. Whether it's yellow, green, and blue. Ugh. Or, you know, something like that. Something along the lines of that. And I think that will be very interesting to see. Because every single week it'll be different. There won't be something the same. Because every time I, I'm done using it, I will go and put it in another bag. Or a thing. I don't know. I'll put it in something. And I won't be able to use the same colors that I use. So it'll always be different so um if you like that idea let me know that should be interesting or maybe i can do that with my um project pans where i just write down all my project pans that i have makeup wise eyeshadow wise and stick them in like little thing like a little plastic baggie and pull it out and see what i'm gonna use and then do that until i'm i don't know maybe not We'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Any advice that you have on Project Pan, please let me know. Because I really feel like I'm just not reaching for anything. With all this new stuff that I have, I'm not, I mean, I'm reaching for, like, um, this color, of course. And I'm reaching for this quite a bit. And I'm also reaching for these two quite a bit. But I feel like, um... You know, this gets lost, and I feel like my nutty color gets lost. I feel like a lot of stuff gets lost, and, you know, that's that's just how I feel. So, if you guys have any really good advice, please let me know down in the comments below. If you guys like that idea for a series, let me know, because I, I want to do that. Um, it's It was something I don't think I've seen yet on YouTube, so hmm, we'll see. So, I'll see you guys um, in my next video. Bye, guys.